After months of bitter, intense battles, Armageddon seemed to put a bookmark in the chapter of Triple H and Shawn Michaels. But there was certainly no rest for the weary. Just as The Game and HBK were at their most vulnerable, other superstars were making their play to capitalize. HBK really does stand for Has Been Kid. Chris Jericho set his sights on ending the career of his childhood hero, Shawn Michaels. Meanwhile, Booker T challenged Triple H for the coveted World Heavyweight Championship. Triple H may be looking at the next heavyweight champion of the world. Both rivalries would culminate in two epic encounters at WrestleMania 19. Michaels with a roll up. Oh, yes. And a green. Oh, yes. And a green. And it's over. But it wasn't until the night after WrestleMania that the game and HBK would cross paths again, granting a voice of reason to emerge from the shadows. You guys are my friends. We got to get this together. You got to know something, man. It ain't never going to be over between me and Shawn Michaels. You've got to make a choice. It's either him or me. Triple H, defiant in his ways, refused to see the light and tensions would again flare. Thank goodness for Nate and Jericho. They stopped Shawn Michaels at the very, very last second. Let's have a dash. Triple H is trying to explain to Nash that Shawn Michaels kicked Triple H. What? What the hell is that about? There's got to be a method to the madness of the game. In the backlash of the destruction, Triple H and Shawn Michaels would be joined by four top contenders in a three-on-three six-man tag team matchup. What a night it's going to be Sunday at Backlash! The following contest is a six-man tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, weighing 227 pounds, Chris Jericho. So many personal issues here tonight, especially with this man, Chris Jericho. Well, let me tell you, Cole, it takes a king to know a king, and Chris Jericho is now called the king of the world. And that's one king that wants to put a stop to the showstopper in this match tonight. Think about the dichotomy of this match, King. On one side, there you see Booker T, but Shawn Michaels and Kevin Nash. And the relationship they've had with that man, Triple H, over the years, and it's come down to this here tonight. Yeah, Kevin Nash has come back, and he wants to get his hand. King, when you talk about all six of these men, all of them have, at one point in their career, been at the very top. Oh, without a doubt. And probably the longest man at the top is Nate. Ric Flair, World Heavyweight Champion for years and years and years. And Triple H, World Heavyweight Champion now. He's been at the top of his game for years, too. But you're right there about another. 
other thing, Cole, every one of these guys is a true superstar in every sense of the word. All six of these men used to being in the spotlight, used to being in the middle of it all. Uh, Booker T has got to be fired up. He's had issues with all three of these men at one time or another. Nate, Chris Jericho, and Triple H. Well, especially Triple H. Booker T has big-time recent issues with the game after nearly becoming the World Heavyweight Champion less than a week ago. And if you talk about Booker T and Triple H, their backgrounds couldn't be more opposite. I mean, the lives they've come from to get to where they are today are poles apart. Booker T from a mean streak and Triple H from a place of privilege. Big Daddy Cool. Let's see what he's got. As you said before the match, he hadn't been in the ring competing in a long, long time. Well, that's true, but Kevin Nash still looks to be in prime condition, Ken. Certainly one thing we know hasn't changed is that Big Daddy Cool still has that strength. We have to focus a little bit on Shawn Michaels, Kevin Nash, and Triple H, their relationship, how close these three men used to be. Well, everybody knows about them. I mean, about that history. Those three men were like brothers, Cole. Well, maybe at one point, Kevin Nash, Shawn Michaels, and Triple H were like brothers, Kane, like you said. But that was a long time ago. And tonight, Kevin Nash and HBK are on the opposite side of the ring from the game, staring him down along with Ric Flair and Chris Jericho. Well, you're right, Cole. It was a long time ago. But in everybody's mind, that memory is fresh. Kevin Nash thought that when he came back to the WWE, that he'd be able to reunite the clip and put these guys back together. But now we know that Triple H doesn't want anything to do with Kevin Nash or Shawn Michaels. The question with Kevin Nash coming in tonight was, having only come back a few weeks ago, would win Russ be an issue for him? Well, I don't know about that, Cole. That may be just the case because Big Daddy Cool is not very cool right now. Well, Kevin Nash, over seven feet, over 300 pounds, so big, so strong, has the strength to turn any situation around. Now momentum is in the corner of Kevin Nash. He 
these athletes seem to have tried everything in their play. When you have a hero, and then you become greater and better than your hero, it's hard to have respect for him anymore. I don't know if Shawn Michaels would agree with that assessment, Kenny. Oh, what a counter. Kevin Nash reversing it. Incredible. And he's caught. With six men in and around the ring at all times, trouble could come from any direction. Needless to say, the referee has a lot on his hands tonight. Well, that's putting it mildly cold. This would have been a good match to have two or even three referees. You hear how his leg connected? Y2J. All of them really some mind power up there. And now he's back out on the apron. Nice reversal there. from the entire team. I mean, he needs all the attention to himself. Oh, look at Shawn Michaels in that ring. Can you see some of the pedigree from out of nowhere? Oh, that was amazing. His shoulders are down. One, two, three. That's it. Triple H got it. The World Heavyweight Champion and his team are victorious. Oh, uh, Triple H. He's always thinking. He's always got an equalizer. I mean, he's always got backup. Triple H again proving why he's the cerebral assassin king. Why he's the world heavyweight champion. Doing whatever it takes to stay on top. Doing whatever it takes to remain the very best. And if Kevin Nash wasn't a...
coming off a grueling title defense, Triple H was steadily building his legacy as one of the greatest world heavyweight champions in WWE history. The following night on Raw, the game looked to take the night off. However, Stone Cold Steve Austin had other plans. You can pick your own opponent tonight as long as that opponent is a former world champion. I'll wrestle the greatest former world heavyweight champion of all time, Ric Flair. What? I'm overwhelmed. I mean, this is the greatest thing that's ever happened in my entire life. The best versus the best, just like we talked about. I chose you to stick it up Austin's ass. I chose you not because you're Ric Flair. I chose you because you're Ric Flair. You'll lay down. lay down. With Ric Flair's integrity at stake, Shawn Michaels paid Flair a visit to remind him who he was and give the dirtiest player in the game his confidence back. Do you really think I can go out there and be the guy like Triple H right now? I know you can do it. Where's Flair getting this from? After what I saw you do to the Triple H. Look at these shots by Flair. I am here to tell you that you, Ric Flair, were, are, and will always be the greatest wrestler in the world. And I just want to know if I'm in the same league with Ric Flair. You, Michael, will always be a Ric Flair wannabe. He just stuck a punch on Michael. I am not the little boy watching my idol. I am a heartbreak kid, the showstopper. You didn't pass the torch to me. I took it from you, Ric Flair. John Michaels at Bad Blood, the dream match, perhaps of all time. The following contest is scheduled for a one fall. Introducing first, from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 234 pounds, the Nature Boy, Rip Flair. People ask, who do you think is the greatest champion of all time? And from San Antonio, Texas, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. From just down the road in San Antonio, Shawn Michaels has made his way here to Houston. We can think back to the last 20 years and some of the greatest five-star matches and match of the year candidates. And one common denominator is that they usually had either Ric Flair or Shawn Michaels in them. And that's why this match is almost guaranteed to be special. I love it. The Texas crowd does too, King. The cheers for HBK already starting up from his home state fans. But you can hear that Flair has his cult following too, as always. Here we go with Ric Flair. Oh, there it is! Oh, that we see Nature Boy reach even deeper into his bag of tricks tonight than he usually does. Desperate people do desperate things, and Ric Flair needs to win this match here tonight. And we all know what kind of tactics Ric Flair can call on when he's desperate. The dirtiest player in the game didn't earn that nickname by playing nice. You know, Shawn Michaels might be as athletic a superstar as we have in WWE today. And that's always the one thing to watch out for in a Shawn Michaels match with his athleticism. HBK has the ability to dictate the pace of the match like a fast-break basketball team. Well, that's if he gets going, Cole. Ric Flair is doing everything he can to prevent Shawn Michaels from getting any kind of momentum in this match. Woo! Boy, he was able to reverse it. Get out of that. Neckbreaker. It was just a little over two years ago that we saw one of the greatest events in WWE history held right here in Houston, WrestleMania 18. Well, there's always been a rich history between WWE and the state of Texas, Cole. And this incredible event is just going to add one more chapter to that book. Yeah, and I live here. The intensity. Yeah, what a move. Big kick echoing around the arena. 
nice reversal there. He was able to reverse that. What's he going to do here? Watch it. Whoa, what's this? Oh, no. What did we just see? One thing Ric Flair wants to do here tonight is negate the speed and quickness advantage that Shawn Michaels has. Oh, what's Flair going for here? But wait, a reversal by Shawn Michaels. And ooh, Flair hit that corner hard. He's dazed. Yeah, really dazed. Here comes HBK. Oh, Flair in the corner now. Shawn Michaels has him, but wait a minute. Referee. Oh, look, oh, at, look that. at that. Blood blow, blow. And I think, I think Ric Flair got both HBK and the referee. What are you going to do now, Nature Boy? Woo! And you can hear the fans willing him onward. Oh, what you got in mind? Shawn Michaels switches it up. HBK can be so unpredictable. We'll see that Shawn Michaels comes up a little short. He saw that one coming. Official. And now Shawn Michaels is ready to go. Oh. And he's tuning up the band for some sweet chin music on Nate. Look out, Nature Boy. And he connects. Who the man. heck? Randy Orton with a steel chair to the back of Shawn Michaels. And look at this. He's putting Nature Boy on top of HBK. The youngest member of Evolution. Are you kidding? The referee. Out his, his buddy Flair. And there's the. Three count! I can't believe this, Cole! No, I can't. That's the way these guys operate. The Nature Boy, Ric Flair, is he's almost unconscious. There's no way he could have won this match over Shawn Michaels without the help of Randy Orton. can barely stand, but Shawn Michaels is out. Orton paying dividends. What you see in this ring is the greatest example of evolution. As the members of Triple H's new faction, Evolution, continued to grow, so did the problems for the Heartbreak Kid. Shawn Michaels is the next legend that I'm going to kill. It's legend versus the legend killer. Michaels going to... No, he's caught! Sweet chin music! No, but we'll swap to the RKO! And Orton wins it! The legend killer prevails! Later that same night, Triple H's long title reign came to an end. In the weeks to come, the game would enlist an animal in an effort to reclaim his throne. That's Batista! The hell? Batista solving Shawn Michaels! HBK's problems only became worse with the addition of the newest member of Evolution. At the 2003 Survivor Series, the animal would unleash his rage. We're down to Shawn Michaels and Randy Orton! Wait a minute! That animal! No! Look, Sean, I powerbombed your ass straight to hell. Hey, just come on down, you jacked up Nimrod. Batista and Michaels will go one on one at Armageddon. Dave Batista, six foot five, 325 pounds. In 30 years that I've been around this business, I don't think I've ever seen a better big match wrestler than Sean Michaels.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from San Antonio, Texas, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels representing San Antonio, Texas. He's one of the most honored champions in the history of WWE, making his 68th WWE pay-per-view appearance can. Wow. It'll be only the third for Batista. Well, with Shawn Michaels, we all saw what happened at Survivor Series. Batista interfering in the Heartbreak Kids match against Randy Orton and costing Shawn Michaels the victory. And being accompanied by the Nature Boy, Ric Flair, from Washington, D.C., weighing in at 318 pounds, Batista! So far tonight at Armageddon King, Evolution is 1-0. Randy Orton beating... Shawn Michaels has got to get on that horse tonight. Use every bit of speed and quickness that he can come up with and try to frustrate Batista with his movement. You know, I don't think Batista gets frustrated, Cole. I think he just gets mad. And when he gets mad, he has to hurt people. Well, he's very capable of doing that. We know that. Remember, Batista's the man that shattered Goldberg's ankle on Raw just a few weeks ago. Shawn Michaels is such a technician. He's been around for so long that he knows every counter to every hole. Batista's just one big monster. Cole. I mean, what a physical specimen. Look at him. He's got muscles in places most people don't even have places. And with Shawn Michaels giving up about 100 pounds to Batista, there might be a little bit of an intimidation factor here tonight. HBK isn't easily intimidated, but if there is anyone that could intimidate him, it might be Batista. Well, let's face it. Batista could intimidate anybody. Batista could intimidate Godzilla and King Kong both at the same time. Didn't take too long to look at Batista and recognize Batista is absolutely a very well-conditioned athlete, King. But on the other side, there's something that can't be seen by the naked eye. The big intangible here tonight, Shawn Michaels' unprecedented will to win. Batista has the nature boy Ric Flair in his corner tonight, coaching him up on how to take out Shawn Michaels. Flair, no doubt, telling him to go after Shawn Michaels' Achilles heel, that damaged lower back. And you know what? Batista better start listening to Nate. No one is better at finding weak spots in an opponent than Ric Flair. Flair has been such a steadying influence for the two young members of Evolution, Batista and Randy Orton. Shawn Michaels switches it up. HBK can be so unpredictable. Oh, this could be trouble. Well, Shawn Michaels proving that he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Batista. I told you that Shawn Michaels is in amazing condition. This is make or break time for him right here. But Shawn Michaels hit that one. Shawn Michaels can he's tearing up the pan for the ball of sweet chin music. This is going to be bad for Batista, but well done. And now it looks like Batista ready to do Shawn Michaels in. Batista feeling it. Batista going to look for the, the patented Batista bomb right here. Shawn Michaels in serious, serious trouble. Here he goes. Well, it looks like it's all over for Shawn Michaels here. But wait. No, not yet, not yet. Oh, no. sweet chin music. And Michaels fell right across Batista. Here's a count. He got it. Michaels got him. Whoa! Don't get Shawn Michaels has beat the animal. I can't believe it. Woo. Well, Evolution will not have a clean sweep tonight, thanks to Shawn Michaels. This throws a hugest monkey wrench into the plans of Evolution at Armageddon. Somehow, some way, Shawn Michaels has survived. His will to win is amazing. What an athlete and what a match! He's the showstopper.
The following is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the World Heavyweight Championship. Introducing the challenger from San Antonio, Texas, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. It's showtime, and here comes the showstopper. He's a four-time champion, Shawn Michaels, and tonight, can he become the next heavyweight champion of the world? We remember back to the Royal Rumble 1997 in the Alamo Dome, over 60,000 fans on hand to see Shawn Michaels regain the championship. That was almost seven years ago, and that was the last time Shawn Michaels has competed for the world championship in his hometown. Well, this huge arena is packed to the rafters, Cole, and every single person is on their feet going nuts. I mean, they love Shawn Michaels here in San Antonio. It is an emotional night, and if Shawn Michaels can do it, he can become the World Heavyweight Champion. You're going to see an eruption, the likes of which we've never experienced before. Yeah, you're right. Shawn Michaels' hometown advantage has got to be decisive. There's no way he's going to let these fans down. I've been waiting a long time to see this. This is going to be an amazing match. A capacity crowd out here in San Antonio. Shawn Michaels has come home to meet his former best friend, Triple H, for the heavyweight championship of the world. Oh, boy. There is electricity in this arena, Cole. These fans want Shawn Michaels to become the world heavyweight champion so bad they can taste it. And there is no scouting report necessary for either of these competitors. They know each other so well. Shawn Michaels will just throw caution to the wind in this one. You can be sure of that. You know, it was just over a year ago, Cole, at Armageddon, that Triple H won the World Heavyweight title in a brutal three stages of the hill match. And Shawn Michaels, along with just about every other person in this building here in this hometown, would love to see just the opposite happen and have HBK rip that championship out of the game's grasp here tonight. Quite a contrast we've got in styles here tonight. The speed and athleticism of Shawn Michaels. Oh, look at this. Whoa. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Hey, hey, hey. Look at HBK. Yeah, Vincent Shawn Michaels. Whoa. Triple H set over the top rope. And now Michaels right after Flair. And Flair knocked out as well. Now you can strut HBK. Oh, wait a minute. Incoming! No! Michaels off the ropes! Down go Triple H and Flair! HBK really being the showstopper right now, stopping the show of the game and Nature Boy! Wow! The Nature Boy, Ric Flair, and Triple H both laying flat on their backs outside the ring, and Shawn Michaels standing tall inside. Back into the ring now. And he released it! Good move there! He's heading back up! Whoa! Just a little too slow there. HBK with a hard right. Here we go with Shawn Michaels. We know one thing Shawn Michaels could do anywhere at any time, and that's deliver some sweet chin music. All his other tools are effective, but nothing is as effective as that super kick of his. Oh, he is the maestro of maestros, Cole. Always ready to tune up the band. One offense Shawn Michaels is showing at this point. Three! Oh, no! Oh! Heads up! Wow! Perfectly executed. He's having a seriously hard time getting back to his feet after that. Oh! Whoa, whoa! The fitness and speed of Shawn Michaels is coming to the forefront, just like it did the last time Shawn Michaels hits the jackpot with a huge move. 
Oh, boy. Shawn Michaels turning up the man, Cole. Triple H has no idea where he is. Switch him is no wait. Oh, come on now. Oh, and Triple H just blasted the official. Well, he was going after Shawn Michaels, but Michaels stuck, but... Oh! Went for sweet chit music. Triple H now going... Oh, DDT! Platty Michaels! Man, oh, man. Oh, wait a minute. Look at Ric Flair. Sliding that championship in to the game. Oh, wait a minute. What's, what's he thinking about doing here with that? What do you think? The referee's down. Look out, Sean! Oh, right off Sean Michaels' skull. Oh, man, oh, man. Triple H is going to steal this. Come on, Sean Michaels. Cole, if Michaels can survive this, it'll be a miracle. Yeah. Oh, the reversal. Oh. Nice reverse. He may get the three count right here. Oh, one of the biggest matches of Shawn Michaels' career we're witnessing tonight. There's no doubt about it, Cole. Maybe the biggest, King. Shawn Michaels knows this could be his last shot at the World Heavyweight title. Well, the element that truly elevates this match to another level for Shawn Michaels is that it's happening here in his hometown. That gives it a whole other meaning. And we've already seen it. Shawn Michaels is ready to risk life and limb to win this World Championship and send these fans into a frenzy. Whoa! Triple H looks hurt. Look out what's going on here. A textbook reversal. Can he follow up? Did you see that, Cole? Talk about getting your spine adjusted. Jeez. And he gets out of the way. He anticipated that move perfectly. There's no doubt that the crown jewel of Evolution is the heavyweight championship of the world held by its leader, Triple H. And just think what it would do to Evolution if Shawn Michaels could take that world heavyweight champion off Triple H here tonight. He's going to take another chance. I don't know how much more damage. Look out! I'll tell you something. Shawn Michaels is on his game tonight, isn't he? I mean, he has the momentum right now, and if he can sustain it, he's out. Look at Shawn Michaels getting ready here, people. Whoa, what a counter. Uh oh, look at this. Oh, to put him away. Oh, you do not get up from that. I'll tell you from personal experience. There's nothing like competing in a world championship match in front of your own hometown fans. The people that have supported you throughout your entire career. You just know inside, you cannot let these people down. And that's what Shawn Michaels is feeling here tonight. Well, we know Shawn Michaels has the huge home field advantage, King, but he has got to use his speed and athleticism, too. He can't be lured into a street fight type battle. And that's exactly what Triple H would like to see this match turn into. doing a great job of turning that around. Are you kidding? 
kidding me? Now this fight rages on. And it's Flair now, set for the ride. Shawn Michaels has got to be living off Sweet Chin Music on the Nature Boy. There you go. A shot to the official. And I got to think that he deserved it. What a crime. 